Hey, this is Justin Branham from MasterFiddle.com. In this free lesson, we're going to learn the melody part on fiddle for Bob Wills' Western Swing Classic, Right or Wrong, in the key of G. All right, this is in the key of G, but we're going to have some borrowed chords, and the melody is going to reflect that. The first phrase sounds like this. That's actually over two chords. That's over E7 for the first two measures and then A7 for the next two measures. So we start on a down bow with an open D. Up bow slur, we're going to have an E note to a G note, first finger to third finger on the D string. An open A to a C note, second finger on the A string. This is on a down bow now, two note slur. The next phrase, that's on an up bow, and that's open A, first finger on A, that's a B note, third finger on D, that's a G sharp, and then first finger on D, that's an E note. And that was all on an up bow. Next part of that phrase is an open A to a first finger on the A string B note. This is on a down bow. Then we're going to go to a second finger on the D string. This is an F sharp with an open A. It's a double stop. And that's just a grace note to our next note of the melody, which is a fourth finger on the D string and an open A. So the fourth finger is playing an A note on the D string, and we have an open A too, so that's a unison. While we're still on that up bow, those two were slurred on an up bow. We're going to play a G sharp with our third finger on the D string, still going up, to a fourth finger on the D string playing an A note. So those were on that same up bow. I'll play that phrase again. That's the next phrase. So this is on a down bow now, open A. First finger on the A string, that's a B note. Then a grace note here, open D to a fourth finger. This is on an up bow now, the open D is. Still on an up bow, fourth finger, D string, A note. Third finger, G note on the D string. Second finger, F sharp on the D string. Now we're on a down bow, open D to a first finger on the D string. That's a D to an E note. While we're still on that down bow, we're going to play a third finger on the D string, that's a G note. And second finger, that's an F sharp, back to G, on the D string there, so. And then an up bow, first finger on the D string, that's an E note. That finishes out the phrase. On that same up bow, though, we're going to play the pickup notes into the next phrase, which is a second finger on the A string, F sharp, to a third finger on the uh, D string, that's a G note. While we're still on that up bow, we're going to play a second finger on the D string, that's an F sharp, and then a third finger on the D string, that's a G note. Those are actually pickups into the next phrase. So I'll play the phrase we just did and then put it together with the first phrase. And we go to the third phrase there. Let's try the whole thing. One, two, three, four, one, two. Next phrase. That's a second finger on the D string and an open A on a down bow. To a fourth finger on the D string and an open A, that's two A notes. Now an up bow here. This is a first finger on the D string E. Still up. 
third finger G note on the D string, second finger F sharp on the D string, first finger E on the D string. Then a first finger on the D string, uh, E note, to an F sharp, second finger on the D string. This is on down bow. And then we're going to play that F sharp and open A again, second finger on D and open A. To a fourth finger on D and open A, two A notes. So. the next phrase so that's an open A this is on a down bow to a first finger on the A string that's a B note so those two are on a down bow and third finger A string this is an up bow now this is a D note first finger B note on the A string open A and before that Is that same um, open string double stop to a drone that we've been doing. Second finger on the D string, playing an F sharp and an open A. To a fourth finger on the D string and an open A. Then third finger on the D string, this is a G note. This is on an up bow now. To second finger, that's an F sharp on the D string, still on an up bow. first finger on the D string, that's an E note, that's on a down bow, and an open A, up bow, B note, still up, that was with the first finger, low first finger, this is a B flat on the A string, and that's second finger on the D string, playing an F sharp and an open A, this is on a down bow, to fourth finger on the D string and open A. I'm going to put my first finger down with the fourth finger on the D string playing an A. That's first finger on the A string playing a B note. Sounds kind of dissonant, but we just hear that for a second. Then on an up bow, I'm going to play that unison again. Fourth finger a, uh, D string playing an A note and an open A. And while I'm still on that up bow, I'll play my pickups again to take us back to the second half of the melody. And they're the same pickups that we did at the very beginning, but it's all on an up bow. So it's open D, first finger D string, that's an E note, and third finger D string, that's a G note. And we're going to start over. I'll play everything up to that point. One, two, three, four, one, two. same as the very first phrase. Now right here we have a difference. We're going to go like this. So this starts on an up bow. It's an A sharp or B flat with the first finger on the A string to first finger on a B natural now. Still on the A string, this is all up still. Second finger, C note on the A string. Then on a down bow, we're going to play an open A to a first finger on the A string, that's a B note. Still down, we're playing a D sharp with our third finger on the A string. C sharp, second finger A string. Back to third finger, D sharp on the A string. And now on an up bow, on the A string, first finger, B note. Lower that down to an A sharp or B flat. So that's still the first finger. And we're still on an up bow now. And back to B natural, first finger A string. So that was. 
but I'll play that entire phrase where it's different. So we had the return to the first phrase. And instead of going, we went. So it's a slightly different part when we get to that section of the tune. The form of this would be A, B, A, C. So we have an A part that comes back exactly. We have a B section that's a little different. And then we have a C section. Instead of coming back to the B part exactly, we have a slight variation. That's similar. It's drawn from the same material. But we go to that B7. And so that makes it different right there. And then uh, we're going to kind of come back and play the same melody again. But we don't have an A note for our pickup. It's a B note this time. So that was first finger on the A string playing a B note on a down bow to a second finger on the A string, playing a C natural, still on that same bow. This is the same as the, as the first phrase of the melody. So we've already played that phrase before. But on this up bow here, when we play this last bit of that phrase, this is a little bit different. Uh, still on that same up bow, we've got open D, third finger on the D string, fourth finger on the D string. So that was a D, G, and then A on an up bow. And that next phrase... So that's a down bow, open A to a first finger on the A string, that's a B note. Second finger, this is kind of a trill right here, still on a down bow, second finger on the A string, that's a C natural. Back to the first finger on the A string, that's a B natural. Then down to a B flat or A sharp with the first finger on the A string. Now on an up bow, we're gonna play a first finger on the A string, B natural. Second finger, C natural on the A string. Still on an up bow. Open A. Still on an up bow. First finger, B note. Open A. So that was all on an up bow. And then still on that same up bow, we're going to play a G note, third finger on the D string. Of course, when you play it faster, it's a little easier to have that long bow stroke. I'll play those two measures together. And then we've got the famous fiddle tag that Bob Wills did originally. So that's a second finger on the E string playing a G natural. Open E. Third finger on the uh, A string playing a D note. This is an up bow slur, three notes, open A. First finger, B natural on the A string. Third finger, D on the A string. Down bow, first finger on the A string, this is a B note. Open A on an up bow, and then third finger on the D string, that's a G note. And that gets us to the end of the tune, and then the vocalist, if you were with a band or, or in a jam session with the vocalist, could come in and sing it, or you could start taking solos at that point. Um, after you've played through everything and you're done, a good ending for it, and this is what Johnny Gimbel did on the George Strait recording of this tune. It's a great recording and has Johnny playing some really great stuff. You should check it out. Uh, there's this ending. And I call it, if you get the sheet music, you'll see I call it the J.R. Chatwell ending. And that's because Johnny got the idea for this from a J.R. Chatwell solo. J.R. was a great fiddle player, really famous in Texas in particular. He played with a uh, Western swing band leader from that time in the 30s, I believe, uh, named Adolf Hoffner. He was a really popular, uh, I believe he was a Czech band leader down there. And um, uh, J.R. was just a fantastic fiddle player. Johnny was really influenced by J.R. and also Cliff Bruner. Those were his two big influences. And so uh, when Johnny got to play right or wrong with George Strait, he kind of copied bits of that solo that J.R. took with Adolf Hoffner. 
uh, that was a similar tune called, uh, I think it's called Sometimes. It's got the same chord progression as Right or Wrong. And JR took a really hot solo over that that was uh, similar to the one that Gimbel quoted in, uh, in his solo on George Strait's version of it. So anyway, this comes from that, and that's a bunch of double stops. Most of it is fifth intervals. We're going to start with a sixth interval, though. So we've got a first finger on the A string playing a B note, and a second finger on the E string playing a G note. And this is on a down bow. And after this down bow, everything's going to be a two note slur. So we start with that down bow. You can slide into it if you want to. Up bow slur, two notes. We're going to play a fifth here. Everything is going to be a fifth from here on out. So this is uh, first finger on the A and E strings playing a B and an F sharp. And I just pretend there's a string in the middle of those two strings that I'm putting my finger on. So my finger's right in the middle of the A and E strings. And it's always going to be like that, either on the A and E or the D and A or the G and D. So then to open A and open E. Now down bow, this is the third finger on the D and A strings. This is G and D. Then to F sharp and C sharp with my second finger. That was a down bow slur. Then an up bow slur, first finger on the D and A strings, this is E and uh, B. Then open D and open A. Third finger on the G and D strings, now this is C and G. This is on a down bow. Down bow slur going to a B and an F sharp, second finger on the G and D strings. Then a first finger on the G and D strings playing an A and an E to an open G and an open D. And that gets us through right or wrong. All right, I hope that lesson was helpful to you. If you like that and want to get more, you can go to masterfiddle.com. I also have the sheet music for this and many, many other things. I teach fiddle tunes and western swing and solos, hot licks, mandolin guitar as well, a bunch of stuff on there, and also a lot of live online workshops that you can take part in. Uh, I give a discount to subscribers, and I also give a discount to subscribers who want to take private online lessons, which I also teach those too. So thanks again for watching, and please reach out if you have any questions.